The Borgwart IV was a German remote-controlled demolition vehicle. Due to its long range, a driver in the vehicle would bring it independently to its destination before dismounting. Near the end of the war, approximately 50 vehicles were converted to a unique tank hunter armed with a battery consisting of six 8.8 cm rockets. Officially called the Borgwart IV Panzerjäger Wanze or BUG, this was undoubtedly one of the last ditch efforts of the German army to stop the Soviet tank armada. This resulted a very exotic vehicle created by the desperate situation and the lack of resources in early 1945. Wanze was clearly an interim solution vehicle built for the remaining ill-equipped troops of the German army. The basis for developing such a vehicle was a small and easy maneuvered Panzerjäger or tank hunter which were to be issued to the troops defending industrial areas and cities, especially Berlin. These were to be sent out against the never stopping masses of enemy armor advancing towards the German capital in the last month of the war. Its main armament was the tried and tested Raketenpanzerbüsche 54, an 8.8 cm recoilless rocket launcher with a 3.3 kg rocket. It was able to penetrate 220 mm of armor up to 200 meters. As bombed out and shredded buildings often blocked streets and thereby made movement very difficult, sometimes not even anti-tank guns could be brought up where the enemy threatened a breakthrough. The only effective weapons carried by the infantry were the Panzerschreck and Panzerfaust. Movement, however, was not quicker than the infantry would move and something had to be done. In February, or according to different sources in March of 1945, it was realized that one needed a light Panzerjäger, but the production of a new vehicle was not an option. One mounted six Raketenpanzerbüsche 54 to one unit and ordered this to be mounted on a wheeled or tracked vehicle. This vehicle was from a protective position to point its turnable battery on the target and then fire all six rockets simultaneously. The Volkswagen Kübelwagen was a possible alternative and was eventually chosen as the wheeled variant, although selecting a tracked vehicle was much more optimal. At first, they tried to adopt the Panzer I, which at the time stood in depots wore down or used as a training vehicle. But the only vehicle that was available in sufficient numbers and in such condition that a reconstruction could be considered was the Borgwart IV. There were some 300 held in reserve plus another 70 vehicles serving in combat units as of January of 1945. The Borgward IV was accepted and approximately 50 were rebuilt as the Panzerjäger Wanze. The vehicles were rebuilt in slightly different ways. The Borgward IV Ausführung B or B version was built in an extra seat for the gunner to the left of the driver, protected by an armored plate in the front. The rocket unit was then mounted to the left of the gunner. This rocket unit could be turned by the gunner through a shoulder support. On the rocket barrels a plate was attached to protect the gunner from shrapnel whirled up by the rockets when fired. 
Ausführung C or the C variants were rebuilt in the same manner with the exception for the driver being seated to the extreme left. All Vances had three smoke dischargers attached to their front plates and these played an important role when attacking as the Panzerjägers first rolled out from their hideouts, for example a street corner to get a free line of fire and then quickly targeting and firing at the enemy and finally retreat whereby the smoke grenades were launched in order to protect the vehicle and hide its movement phase. Well back in protection, one could reload everything for a new operation. In April of 1945, a Panzerjäger Versuchsabteilung or a Tank Hunter Test Battalion was created and fought in Berlin. Its equipment consisted partially of Volkswagen Kübelwagen and Borgward Force. Any larger mass operation was impossible in April, but there is photo evidence of abandoned Borgward 4 in the area held by the 11th SS Freiwilligen Panzergrenadiers Division Nordland in central Berlin. After that, the traces of this interim solution vehicle disappear in the mass of shoot-up vehicles in the rubbles of Berlin, where after some time everything was cleaned up and scrapped. After the war, US and Soviet special units were looking for new technical solutions. The only evidence of a follow-up is the American M50 50 Ontos, armed with six Rakoilis rocket launchers and issued to the United States Marine Corps in 1955, who used it in the early stages of the Vietnam War. Ontos, officially the rifle multiple 106mm self-propelled M50, was a US light-armored tracked anti-tank vehicle developed in the 1950s. It mounted six 106mm manually loaded M40 recoilless rifles as its main armament, which could be fired in rapid succession against single targets to increase the probability of a kill. Although the actual caliber of the main guns was a 105mm, it was designated 106mm to prevent confusion with the ammunition for the 105mm M27 rifles, which the M40 replaced. It was produced in limited numbers for the United States Marines after the US Army cancelled the project. The Marines consistently reported excellent results when they used the ONTOs for direct fire support against infantry in numerous battles and operations during the Vietnam War. The American stock of ONTOs was largely expanded towards the end of the conflict and the ONTOs was removed from service in 1969.